Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here, and uh, this video is for all of my fellow uh, Kindle publishers, any of you self-publishers out there that uh, have a publishing business, and you're continuing to push through um, all the obstacles that uh, that our, our, <laughs> our dear friend Amazon throws at us, um, and uh, try to get back into a productive state. And so, um, I, I use this, uh, this tool, um, MindMeister, mind mapping application to help me map out the processes for, uh, for basically setting up a book series. And um, so what I have open right now is a book series blueprint, and this is a template that I use for every book series that uh, I create. And the great thing about this is, is it allows me to brainstorm some of the tasks that I've done for a book series um, when I'm setting up a new book or a new series. Um, sometimes uh, I'll go back and say, you know, some of those tasks I don't really need. And so I can kind of brainstorm and, and add or remove some of the things that I, I want my virtual assistants to uh, take on and, and complete or, uh, or remove. So uh, if you go to mindmeister.com, you can sign up for a free account and uh, I won't show you how to do that. Assume you already know how to do that. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of take a look at uh, the brainstorming um, application part of it. And then the great, uh, really exciting thing, at least I find it exciting, is getting all the tasks that you want into a project management system. And I use a Meister task for that, and we'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But so here I have uh, my map basic with series title and three different book titles that I'm thinking of for a particular series. So what I would do is just uh, go ahead and, and expand the template I have here. And I already, I've already pre-populated pre this template with some of the phases that I have set up for my book publishing and for each book. And so in phase one is usually the planning. Um, I have a, a couple different uh, tasks and subtasks that need to be uh, worked on and so the great thing about this is is that now that I have that all laid out um, I know exactly what I need to do as far as you know tackling these things in order or or you know getting them done and assigning them to my team and so how I do that is uh, there's an integration here at the bottom uh, called manage tasks um, and what this allows you to do is to integrate with MindMeister, I'm sorry, Meister task. <laughs> MindMeister, uh, your mind mapping into Meister task. And uh, I'll show you Meister task and what that looks like really quick and then show you how the integration works. So Meister task, you can set up, uh, it's a visual project management style um, system and you can set up your uh, columns accordingly. And basically how it works is you move from uh, backlog or you know some sort of uh, holding queue that has a bunch of tasks that are ready for someone to uh, to work on, and then you you basically can move them through the various stages of their life cycle until they're done. And so you know what I like to do is is I just uh, you know anything that I'm going to have my staff work on for a particular uh, set period of time, so a particular week, um, I'll go ahead and and queue these things up into the the backlog or ready column. And uh, we discuss them in our meetings, and then the team goes ahead and tackles those tasks. So going back into our book series blueprint, um, if I'm in planning right now for a book, particular book, what I do is I just go ahead and um, I can just uh, select all these, uh, press Shift and, and select, and click all those, and I can just drag and drop these. Um, well, before I do that, uh, I want to make sure I connect. Okay, so book, book series blueprint, I'm gonna connect. Okay, and so I, I have uh, a couple different cues depending upon who's on my team. Um, I'll have someone I can dr drag and drop and have auto assigned uh, some tasks. I'm not gonna go ahead, just for this demonstration purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and assign it to myself and not my VA because uh, she'll be wondering what's going on so um yeah so just for testing purposes i'm just going to drag and drop this and put it in my queue and you can see so i just i just dragged these eight tasks planning tasks put them in there and now they're assigned to the 
backlog column that's set up in Meister task. So boom, I have them all set up. They're all assigned to me and, you know, um, or a teammate, if you had a teammate you wanted to assign it to. And then you can just move the cards uh, through the workflow as you go. Um, you, there's a lot of really cool things you can do with this as far as, you know, adding tags. Um, I have the planning tag here, so I know it's part of the planning process and and you know so on and so forth so when you when you're working on books this this allows you to kind of have it all organized and you know everybody on your team knows what's what's being worked on what sort of work is in progress um and what's what sort of work is done so that they can you know focus on some of the other tasks that need to be tackled um, one of the other great things about this too is that you can put some dependencies uh, on these particular um, these particular, what they call them, task cards, or in Agile speak, they call them story cards. And what we could do is in Meister, Meister Task, they allow you to, let me just see if the features are turned on, uh, task relationships. So you can actually create associations between two existing tasks that, um, you know, one can't be completed before another. So let's just say that my content requirements, um, I'm going to add a relationship here and I'm going to say that it um, it blocks and I'm just arbitrarily picking this. So I can just say, uh, let's see, it, it blocks post job interview hire. Okay, so I can see that, you know, I need to set the content requirements, you know, for my, my job and, and things like that for the book that I'm trying to, to get set up. And it's, you know, I can't, I can't do the post job interview hire until that's complete. So it's kind of cool. You can, you can block certain tasks that have to be, um, you know, there's a prerequisite that has to be done before it can happen so you can get really advanced with this and and my suggestion is you don't really need to you don't really need to especially when you're just starting out uh, it's nice to know it's there but just getting your tasks out into some sort of visual format has helped me dramatically in, in managing my work in progress and getting projects done uh, on time and on budget so I hope this video helps and you know you just go ahead to mindmeister.com and set up a free account and you can go to meistertask.com and set up a free account there as well. They do have paid options that give you a little bit more um, customization and advanced um, automation. I know Meistertask gives you the ability to automate uh, stories, these little task cards and complete them automatically when you move them into different columns and things like that but you know for our purposes uh, you really only need the free version to be able to, to utilize these tools and have them help you in your publishing business. So go ahead and create a free account. And, uh, you know, I'd love to hear uh, your success with using something like this. Take care. Bye.